Hiya, me again, and we are in our final week of making a virtual presentation space. And it's been really exciting, and we've got this far, and now we're going to share it with our audience. This is why we've been making all this effort. And I would like you to ask yourselves these questions. Have you added walls, attached images of learning, added text boxes, really explaining the learning and telling your audience something they didn't know? And have you tested the audience experience by pressing play? And you could have also done this added people giving directions, interactive characters that move or have a, an action when you mouse over them, also a soundbite and a video with instructions. So this is your success criteria that I would like you to go and check in your space. So check, have you got images of learning? Have you got text boxes that explain what the learning is about and also tell your audience something they don't know just by looking at the picture. Have you pressed play? Have you checked what where the camera is going to start? Have you clicked on the video to see if it works? If you've done all of these things, then you're good to go and we're ready to share. And sometimes when I'm doing a piece of learning, I will check and I'll miss a couple of things. And it's really good to get a second opinion. So if you can sit down with a partner and you can have a look at one another's and check that you've got the different things that I mentioned in that list, that would be really good. So before we share, we're going to check that we've got these things and then we are going to get a partner up here to do a double check for us. So these are our essentials. You must have these things. And if you don't, now's the time to add them, please. And the could have added the option or extras are these four things. So you must have the other list and you could have these. If you can say yes to these, it's time to share. I'm going to pause the video now and I would like you to do the same. So we've just looked at our learning. We've also got a peer to double check, which is fantastic. Remember to say thank you and now let's share. So we're going to click on the share button at the top of our page. A little pop up will um, appear with a share button. Click on that orange share button. Then we get an option of sharing in the gallery or share unlisted. I'm going to ask you to share unlisted this time because we only want the people that we share the link to be able to see our virtual space. I'm going to add a title, description and then click share unlisted and our um, co-spaces will be published. And here are some sentence starters for that description. I'll put these up again in a minute but in your description I would like you to tell your audience about how you feel about your space, challenges when you were making it. Okay. So let's go back, let's find that share button. So at the top, just here, click, a little window pops up with share. At the moment it's private, it's got a padlock, just like Google Docs. Click on share, and in here, let's change the title, because everybody's got that title. That's the, the name of the assignment. And I could call it James's presentation space, or if I want to think about digital citizenship, and not identify myself, I could put JH. But to be honest, in our co-space, we've probably got our name. So in this instance, don't worry too much. And then in the description, I'm going to have something like, I've added some learning that I'm really proud of to this virtual presentation space. It's a collection of the learning that I have done during the school closure. It was tricky making the co-space, but I have persevered and I really like what I've made. If you have any positive comments to make about my space, I would love to hear from you. Once I'm happy with that, I've proofread it. Check, this is share unlisted. I'm not gonna let people remix my space and I'm gonna click share unlisted. Now, if you can't share, you're gonna to have to speak to your teacher about allowing you to share. There's on the teacher dashboard, then teachers have the option of allowing or stopping you share. And if you can't share, speak to me or speak to your class teacher. So here are those sentence starters for your description and I would like you to go through those steps and share your space. That's a pause, so you need to stop the video and have a go at those steps. So, we're ready to share, and you'll notice it looks really professional. It says James's presentation space, and you get a lot of different options when it comes to sharing. We could use a QR code. We learned about that with Denzo Wave, and he created them for Toyota, didn't he? Or we've got a share code, or we've got a share link, or we could even embed it in a website. But we are going to copy the share link. And the share link is this. And the way that we copy it is we click on this little button. So let's have a go at doing that. 
So this is our presentation space and proofread it, happy with the description and I can see the share button. So now I've published it but I need to get a link to be able to share it. So let's click on share and in here we've got the QR code, share code and we want share link. So let's copy the share link and let's test the link. We could put it in Seesaw but we need to test it first. So I've copied it and I'm actually going to put it into a new tab and see what happens. Now, if you can do this in a different browser or even incognito mode, that'd be amazing. If you're at Shelton Junior School, incognito mode has been disabled. So we are just going to test it by putting it in a new tab. And this is what your audience is going to see. Anybody you share the link with, this is what they get. Doesn't that look great? And this is what it would look like in incognito, exactly the same. So we've just peer assessed our spaces and we have published them. In the next video, there's a couple of things to consider when we come to updating our space.